Hey, Thanks. just a reminder for everybody. The official end to the season for Kent County Parks is October 31st, which is Saturday. Mm -hmm. However, that doesn't mean you can no longer visit. For the most part, all the parks will remain open, but some of the hours are going to change. So as a guideline, most parks will open at 7 a.m. They're going to close at sunset with a few exceptions. Also, most of the bathrooms will be closed. Trails will remain open as well, but may be in poor condition depending on the weather. For more details on off-season park limitations, you can simply go to Kent County Parks. Good to have those trails open, right? Yeah. Yeah, but bathrooms, if you got kids, the bathrooms won't be open. Yes. Hey, I, I think the retail giants are going to make your holiday shopping a little more bearable this year. Target is setting up a new reservation system if you actually want to go into the store. They're trying to curb the big crowds, right? So now you can head to Target.com slash line and find your local store. See if there's a long wait to get in. If long, uh, if the lines are long, you can reserve your spot online and then Target will text you when it's your turn to shop. What? This is, Sylvan Guard does this, or what, what are the restaurants down, oh, what is the, rest? there's a restaurant downtown that does this too, they have an app. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a big thing, yeah. Yeah, so yep. it lets you know yep. when your spot's ready. Mm -hmm. So the Target app can give you that break, and they're gonna say they're gonna have additional drive up slots as well for people to bring your stuff out to yep. you. Yeah, they gotta try to accommodate everybody in a different mm -hmm. way. Face masks, the necessary fashion accessory of the year. How'd you like one that smells like chicken? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> There's another dimension to your face mask. You know, first there was one that smelled like bacon. We did that bacon one a couple weeks ago. Yes. Now you've got Jack in the Boxes chicken mask. Which came first, the mask or the chicken? <laughs> it is the benefit of smelling, they say benefit here, of smelling like fried chicken. It's also a promotion for the fast food burger chain's new chicken sandwich. The mask is decorated with the new sandwich, smiley faces, Jack in the Box logo, and people are going to be like, hmm. What's that smell? Oh, Every yeah. time, well, they probably won't because you're probably gonna be six feet away. But does it taste like? <laughs> don't, don't eat your mask. <laughs> hey, you'll soon be able to get your Chick-fil-A sauce. Look at this. Uh, and all this from your local grocery store. The company is set to sell bottles of its Chick-fil-A and Polynesian sauces in select it. states. They should hit stores like Walmart and uh, mm. those types of places mid-November and they will be in stores nationwide next year. The chain says 100% of the royalties will be donated to a scholarship fund for Chick-fil-A employees. Those are the two, they got it right. Those are the two that I hoard. I've been to Chick-fil-A like twice. No way! Yeah. Well, when I go there, I'm always asking well, for we, a couple. Even when we lived down in West Virginia, they, they were down around there in Pittsburgh area and we went one time. No, really? Yeah. Good food. I know. Yeah, and of course I can stop hoarding their Polynesian sauce. <laughs> Whether it's in your latte or sitting out in your front porch, it's all about the pumpkin and today is the day to celebrate everyone's favorite gourd. Oh my goodness, today, National Pumpkin Day. The name comes from the Greek word papon, which means large melon. Of course, pumpkins come in all shapes and sizes and while they're fun to decorate and carve for Halloween, which I just did yesterday, pumpkins are also packed with nutrients like vitamin C, making them the perfect treat for the fall season. By the way, in case you're wondering, heaviest pumpkin, just over 2,600 pounds. 